All right, so before we get started and explain why Shane Dawson was the perfect person to help Eugenia Cooney come back to YouTube, can we take a second, just a second, to acknowledge how amazing that ending was where he was explaining to her the and I oop meme. So basically it's a meme and it's a drag queen and then she goes and I oop. Really? What does it mean? So and I oop is like when you... <laughs> It's like when you, um, you're scrolling through Twitter and you're just like, oh my god, I feel so good today. And then you see a tweet and people are like, kill yourself or something crazy. Oh, we've yeah. seen those. Yeah, definitely. And then, and then you go, and I will. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. And something that I'm extremely passionate about is mental health. So by the way, I have a few different videos I'm going to be making about Shane Dawson's new video with Eugenia Cooney. There's a few different angles I wanna take that I can't fit into one video. So anyways, what I'm getting at is make sure you subscribe and ring that notification notification bell. All right, so a couple things real quick. Those of you who are following me on social media at The Rewired Soul, um, my brand new book, Cancelled, is coming out on Monday. I delayed it because Shane Dawson's new video came out and I'm not dumb. I'm not going to compete with Shane Dawson on a book launch. All right, <laughs> but anyways, the second thing is, for those of you who have been around my channel for a while, I'm experimenting with some new formats. So this video is going to be similar to the video I did yesterday. I'm going to do some voiceover. I'm also going to pop in here, but please do me a favor and just leave comments and let me know if you like it, all right? So let's get started. So first, let's discuss how brave Shane Dawson was to take on this project. For those of you who don't know, last year Shane Dawson did a series on Jake Paul and after the first two videos, he received a lot of pushback. Many people were upset when they found out the premise of the series. You see, Shane Dawson explained in the very first video that he had always been fascinated with sociopaths and he had a theory that Jake Paul might be a sociopath based on what Shane has seen from Jake's behaviors. YouTube's resident licensed marriage and family therapist Katie Morton was also extremely brave to help Shane Dawson once again. See, in the second episode of the Jake Paul series called The Dark Side of Jake Paul, Shane Dawson went over to Katie Morton's house to discuss sociopaths. Now, while we don't know the whole story, it really appeared as though Shane was simply going to his friend's house to ask her about sociopaths. So we're not entirely sure if Katie Morton even knew what Shane Dawson's series was gonna be about before he showed up to her house. So one of the issues that people had was in that video and because Shane loves spooky things and has a flair for the dramatic, he made this video quite spooky and dramatic. After that, the internet freaked out. People were extremely upset with Shane Dawson and how Katie Morton describes sociopaths. When Shane asked her how you could tell if someone is a sociopath, she explained how you get an, you know, icky or gross feeling from them. So people attacked Shane for talking about mental health and then people began attacking Katie Morton for being a part of it. People were quick to say that although Katie has a degree from Pepperdine University and has been a practicing LMFT for years, she was not qualified to discuss sociopaths. After that, Shane Dawson toned down the dramatic feel of the series and Katie had to publicly address what happened. Katie was getting all sorts of hate comments and one person even said that she should die. So when I first saw that Shane's new video was about Eugenia Cooney, I was really curious to see if he'd enlist the help of Katie one more time. Although Katie doesn't specialize in sociopaths, she does specialize in eating disorders and has a ton of experience. So those of you who don't know me, not only am I a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, I also worked in an addiction treatment center where we also specialize in mental illness. So I have worked with many people who struggle with eating disorders as well. And one of the number one questions I get, and I'm sure Katie talked about it too in this video, but a lot of people say, how do you talk to somebody? How do you talk to somebody? The best thing you can do is what Shane Dawson did in this video. Talk to somebody who has experience, all right? Like talk to somebody like, 
know somebody who has been able to help somebody with an addiction or something like that or an eating disorder. A lot of people say, how do I help my friend or family member with depression or anxiety? Talk to somebody who's either been through it or helped people before. You should always talk to a professional if possible. Like for example, with my experience in addiction, a lot of people try to do like their own interventions because they like watch intervention on TV. The best thing that you can do is consult an addiction professional because there's a lot of like do's and don'ts when you're trying to intervene on somebody who's struggling with an addiction. Now, let's talk about why Shane Dawson was the perfect person to interview Eugenia Cooney and help her come back to YouTube. Although Shane is not a licensed professional, he's someone who has had his own struggles with disordered eating in the past. There are those who will see this video and say that Shane shouldn't have done it, but I think he was the perfect person to do so, and I'm glad Eugenia invited him to be a part of her return. While there's this narrative out there that only licensed professionals should talk about mental health, this video showed why it's just as important to have someone who's actually been through the struggle to talk to these people as well. Now, this isn't to say that you shouldn't seek professional help, but I can tell you from my own addiction recovery, it was extremely beneficial to have someone who understood exactly what I had been going through. It makes it a lot easier to have a discussion and to open up. I believe that this is because many of us who struggle with mental health issues also have trust issues. It's common for us to sit back and know that a therapist or psychologist has a lot of book smarts, but do they really understand what we've been going through? And let's be honest, there are some professionals out there who have terrible bedside manner. If we don't think they truly understand what we've been going through, we may not open up entirely and be honest with them. I also think that this clip right here shows that Shane is amazing at talking to people about this stuff. Like the details of that were kind of like privately there and um, but also like just to just keep it from feeling too like too much too fast. All right. So, so she doesn't get defensive or feel attacked because that's not the goal. The goal is to like help her tell a story that's beneficial for everybody. Mm -hmm. It was definitely like an eating disorder, but yeah, they just, I guess they didn't really get too labely, but no, and you don't, if that makes sense. <laughs> you don't have to put a label there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no. um, okay, so I'll speak on my experience because okay. I don't want to put words in your mouth. I always knew that I had a disorder. I always was very, self-aware and I was always very like I know this is bad I know I shouldn't be doing this I feel guilty I feel embarrassed like when I would be you know throwing up in the bathroom I I mean I was doing it with like friends in the other room and I was like hiding it and trying to whatever it's like, very it's like very shameful thing and took me a long time to even talk about it so yeah right there like I want you to save that clip when I was watching it I was like oh my god like Shane could be a therapist. Like Shane is an empath. He feels what other people are feeling. And I loved how they edited it because they were showing how, you know, he was asking Katie, like, you know, what's too much? What should they talk about? And everything like that. And you could see, you could see when he was talking to Eugenia, she wasn't comfortable talking about certain things like the label of the disorder and Shane felt that and this is so important so any of you out there who have a friend that you need to talk to or a loved one you need to talk to about what they're going through like really be able to feel them out like you could see Shane felt her out and then then what Shane did was he quickly turned it back to himself he started sharing his own experience and his own struggles and this is wow perfection like that's what we do this is how i talk to people with addictions too like if somebody is struggling with opening up or just being honest or whatever it is like i start sharing my own stuff right like it helps other people open up this is why peer support is so crucial and it's something that some not all but some licensed professionals haven't been through like there are many therapists psychologists psychiatrists out there who haven't gone through you know depression anxiety eating disorders um uh, addiction and all those other things so when you're talking to somebody who can share their own personal experience it kind of like opens up the doors for you to open up too so that's why i love i love that shane did this finally shane talks to eugenia about something that only someone who has struggled with an eating disorder would understand he starts to talk 
talk to her about how he understands how difficult it is to overcome an eating disorder because you need food to live. This is true for so many people who struggle with various process addictions, such as gambling, sex, shopping, etc. So one of the reasons I make videos about eating disorders is because there are actually studies out there that people with addictions, like myself, our brains are very similar to people who struggle with different eating disorders, all right? And when I would have clients who would come in and I would talk to them or even friends or people in the audience who have talked to me about eating disorders, like it sounds crazy if you've never struggled with addiction, but I'm grateful that my addiction, my issue, my mental health issue was with drugs and alcohol. See, because I can look, I can, I can logically look at drugs and alcohol and say, those things are ruining my life. I don't need those things. I can be completely abstinent. So I've been clean and sober for seven years, being 100% abstinent. But what Shane Dawson is connecting with Eugenia about is you need food to live, right? Like you have to have it. So I, I really, really like feel for anybody out there. Like if you have overcome an eating disorder, like that is amazing like that is phenomenal even if you're making the attempt to recover you know what i mean like me i just don't go to my drug dealer you know what i mean i just don't go to the bar but we do need food to live so this is similar for people who have a shopping addiction or even a sex addiction and that's why these types of recovery are much different because you have to learn to manage it. Like with me and my addiction to drugs or alcohol, there's no managing my substance use. You know what I mean? So I really admire anybody who has been able to overcome or even tried to overcome one of these types of disorders, you know? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Like what's your personal experience? Have you ever found it difficult to connect with a therapist or maybe even a doctor because you felt like they didn't truly understand what you've been through? Has it been easier for you to open up to someone who's actually been through it? Maybe you've been part of different support groups or something like that. Let's share our experiences down below, all right? And please, please, please make sure you let me know if you like this format of video where I kind of mix things up a little bit and follow me on social media at The Rewired Soul so you stay tuned with my brand new book, Cancelled, comes out where I examine the lovely cancel culture that we all deal with. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing and a huge thank you to everybody who's donated because my book is free. So everybody who's donating to the cause and helping me as I'm writing this book, I really, really appreciate you. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.